I found a little creek. And now I can get some water. I um I just dug a little trench down in there because I wasn't enough to put my uh fit my water bottle in there without filling it up. So gonna fill it up and I have this uh, sturdy pen it um, provides an ultraviolet light that kills all the bacteria and now I'm sure this water is clean but I have it so why not just be safe and use it Pretty clean. So that works. Pretty easy. Press once for a one liter, and this is one liter, 32 ounces, one liter. Green light's flashing. Stick the light in the water. And don't do that. Okay, I already, I've only used this once or twice. So, press once, stick it in the water. Stir. You saw the light going, I think. And I wait for it to go off. I'm glad I found water because I just I just drank the last of mine. All right, here we go. Well, press once for one liter. See the light. Kind of stir the water a little bit to get all the bacteria. And it will go off, and the light will and the green light will go on, telling me that it's done. My hydration pack in my, in my backpack has three liters, so I'm going to need to do this about three times. And then I'll fill this one up. Just in case I don't run into water again. But by that time, I'll be in Timberland Lodge. So I won't have to worry. Pretty cool this pen, it's it's not it's not heavy at all. So when I do the Pacific Crest Trail, it's mostly used for in uh, Southern California where the water is not too clean. Of course you just gotta be smart and know what water is clean. If you see a bright, brightly green moss, then the water's pretty clean, actually. You just gotta know where the water's coming from. If you're low in the valley, and you know you see high mountains, and that water's traveled a long way. There's a lot of chance of contamination. Sorry. Alright, that's how we purify water. See ya.